Hello everyone, so I want to talk about the SDXL Lightning that is created by ByteDance and they have recently launched this 12 days ago but then I have not talked about this last week because I wanted to wait for it to become a little more stable as we all know AI is moving so fast and sometimes the latest model from Hugging Face can change in the first one or two days or even after a week like previously we had Stable Cascade it was just uploaded one or two days ago and then after a few days it changed they made some updates to the checkpoints to improve the comfy UI and ET. For me, I would just stay calm and not follow the tail too closely or fall for misinformation and crashes. So SDXL Lightning has a demo page here and again, I will share this link in the video's description. You guys can check it out. It's very simple. Just do a text prompt here or a natural language style text prompt and you are ready to go with this. Basically, this uses very low sampling steps and very low CFG number settings for XDXL image generations. In this video, I will try these four steps. Okay, so basically, they have released two-step, four-step, and eight-step models individually that you can download as separate files, and I will talk about that later. They have also released the all-in-one checkpoint models for Comfy UI and they have the UNET checkpoint models for Diffuser. Additionally, we have the LoRa's files for Diffuser and Comfy UI. As I am using Comfy UI, I will be using the all-in-one checkpoint models and the LoRa's files. I will test these two together and I'm going to use four steps for this testing experiment because they are not going to put everything in one file here. As you can see, when we click on the files versions, you see this one step, two step, four step, and X step. Well, you can use the four step files and set the sampling step to 8 and 20 and even more, but then it will not perform that well because they are built to run for four steps which is the optimum sampling steps in this model. And if you use XStep, then you will use XStep for the best performance in XStep model files. So let's try it here. First of all, if you need to download, download these LoRa's files, and then the checkpoint files are good enough for Comfy UI. If you're using diffusers, then you have to download the UNet instead of the checkpoint models for this one. It's as simple as that. And once you download the checkpoint models, again, put them in your models checkpoint folders. And for the LoRa's files, put them in the LoRa's subfolders. It's as simple as that, just like what we normally do for checkpoints and LoRa's files. Okay, so I'm not going to go through how you save your files and drag and drop them into those folders. Because that is a very basic step that we have covered in many videos already. Let's take a look at that. Here, I have the LoRa models of the SDXL Lightning. I already have the four-step model, which is similar to the LCM concept we previously used with LCM LoRa. In this case, it's LoRa for SDXL Lightning. So choose that instead of LCM. And then we follow the steps only here. Set the sampling a step to four and CFG to one. Now I have tested other numbers for CFG, like 3, 4, and even up to 8, but that will oversaturate the AI image. So if you have 4 steps, CFG1 is good enough. Even when I set it to CFG2, the image becomes oversaturated with color saturation, like this one. As you can see, it instantly generates the image. It's fast as it is. Here, I have two samplers. The first one is set to 0 seconds. And the second one is the second case sampler, which I'm using to enhance the image that will be less than 2Q. That's how far we go, how fast we can use SDXL Lightning, which is very similar to SDXL Turbo. It's almost real-time generated, but compared to SDXL Turbo, it's simpler to connect. We don't need extra custom nodes to generate images, just using normal checkpoint nodes and LoRa's note and you can generate an image with that. The concept is very similar to LCM with very low sampling steps and CFG and you can run it without any problems. You can use normal schedulers or use the SGM Uniform which performs better for image generation using SDXL Lightning 
I found that using Euler Ancestral is the best one to perform. So that's the setup so far. Let's try it with a new workflow diagram here. Let's clean it up and let's build one together. So first, we got to load the default workflow. So this is the default workflow from Comfy UI here. Now we are going to make a few modifications on the front end and you are able to use SDXL Lightning. If you only have checkpoint models, you can download just the SDXL Lightning checkpoint models. If you want to use four steps, you can use that. You can also use two steps or eight steps depending on your preference, but I prefer to choose the middle one, right in the middle, so I can test the average performance of SDXL Lightning overall. Right here, you can simply choose the checkpoint models of SDXL Lightning and enable that. So it's pretty easy to set up without any modifications on the front end here, and it's totally different from SDXL Turbo. When using SDXL Turbo, we had to use special custom nodes for connecting, but here we don't need any of that. So just set it to four and let you guys check it out. I'm using the SGM uniform and we can take a look at this one. The first time loading, it may take a while to load up the checkpoint models, which is normal. But then as you can see, the speed of generating images in the case sampler takes no seconds. Yeah, just no seconds here. So let's set a preview and track one more time. Here is the image. Very easy, and let's make it larger. Even a large 1024 image is generated in less than one second. So if I really use this model to generate images, I will use two samplers, because the first one takes less than one second. That way I can have more time to create another case sampler. Maybe I will do a latent upscale here for very basic custom notes or comfy UI workflow. I can do some very basic stuff here and generate fast. And again, I don't need to go very complex, doing all those crazy fancy stuff, connecting 100 nodes here to create a good image. That's how it's working. And let's see. Right here, we can do VAE with this one. Actually, it doesn't have VAE, so we need to load our own VAE loader and load an SDXL VAE that will perform better for the image. I have my SDXL VAE, and that will be going here. That will be the image for the second case sampler. Let's check it out. So this is the first example, and now we have the second one coming up. Well, the second one is going to be slower because I took 20 steps. Let's see what happens with 20 steps, right? So with 20 steps, it looks like this. And as you can see, I didn't set anything. I just loaded the case sampler and let it run by itself. Then I upscale it two times the size of the original image. So it's like two times larger than the original image. Everything here has more details and is more enhanced, with richer colors compared to the previous image, but it doesn't follow the same pattern because I forgot to add the noise here. So, let's set up the denoise to around 0 0.55. And again, use four steps. Let's see the speed and performance of this again set the sampling scheduler the same way and let's try it out hopefully we'll get the same result here yes we got the same one as you can see we have more details here compared to the previous image it's not just a solid rock but we can see different rocks and trees here that is the basic process of using checkpoint models to load SDXL Lightning. Now let's move on to another example using LoRa to load SDXL Lightning. I prefer using this method if you want to achieve very fast image generation. I prefer using SDXL models because once you have good models like Juggernaut XL, 
and Realvis XL, which are well-trained models with a wide range of styles to play around with, you can simply improve the speed within a second by using Dragon Odd XL to create an image. Moreover, this method is more flexible because I can use other LoRa models. For example, I have LoRa Beautiful Girl for Jordan 2, which is another LoRa style for enhancing based on the checkpoint models. After all, I can pass these models to this workflow and that will yield better results. Yes, the images will be better using the SDXL Lightning LoRa models and in the end, we can lower the sampling steps to increase the speed of generation. Let's try 4 steps and 1 CFG. We can use a futuristic text prompt for this example. As you can see, the first time loading may take some time due to different checkpoints and configurations. However, subsequent loadings will be incredibly fast. Even in the second case sampler, it only took 2 seconds to generate the entire image. This image has been latent upscaled 2 times using a latent image size of 1208A768 and this is the result of that upscaling. So basically I can incorporate more LoRa styles here along with the checkpoint styles and other additional LoRa styles before passing it to SDXL Lightning. This allows me to lower the sampling steps in the case sampler and it's my preferred method of using SDXL Lightning rather than solely relying on the checkpoint models. With this approach, I have the flexibility to apply special fine tuning to the checkpoint models or even use LoRa models. So the performance is the same. All these images are generated in under one second when using one K sampler. So it's acceptable and suitable for my needs. I'm not too concerned about the speed or performance, especially since I have an NVIDIA GPU 4090. So it's not a major issue for me. However, I wanted to test the speed and how fast it can generate a large sized image with at least average quality. I can't claim that these images are of excellent quality, but they have a very good average quality considering the low sampling steps and low CFG use. This is how you can achieve fast image generation using SDXL Lightning. When compared to LCM and SDXL Turbo, this method is much simpler to set up. Just load the LoRa model, choose the SDXL Lightning LoRa option, lower the steps, and you're good to go. You'll have lightning fast speed using SDXL. I hope this inspires you to explore this approach. It may not be suitable for all scenarios, but it works well when you want to quickly generate an image to get initial ideas. Once you have a better base image, you can enhance it using other samplers or incorporate it into another workflow to further refine the details. That's how those low sampling step, fast loading generation models like SDXL Lightning, LCM or SDXL Turbo are used. So one more thing I want to mention, the animate diff workflow for this SDXL Lightning. I have tried out with the workflow gen or some videos, but it is not really performed good in detail and buried. Even I set up to step 10 and CFG2, it is still blurry. So I'm testing for more, give it some time, see if there's any improvement or maybe using other way of connecting animations using SDXL Lightning but I don't think it's a good choice to use SDXL Lightning for animation, just the same concept as SDXL Turbo. So see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.